All right, everyone, welcome to this special edition of Digging Deeper. Special for me because I'm announcing today kind of a big shift in my farming career. Uh, for anyone that's been following me, um, you know, for 12, ye 12 years, uh, I had my own farm, La Grelinette, which my wife has been running for the last seven years without me because during those seven years, I was also running a teaching farm, FQT farm, doing a lot of research and a lot of teaching to a whole cohorts of apprentices. And I did that for seven years until last year. And today I'm announcing a new project, which is about seven minutes from my own farm, but it's a farm to table with a restaurant and a place to host people, host groups, and invite people to what I want to do next. So I started this last March. Uh, the farm and the restaurant is called The Old Mill. It's in Stanbridge East, Quebec, Canada. And I'll show you around, okay? So this is a pretty typical market garden. Uh, for this project, my beds are 50 feet long. And there's going to be all in all uh, six field blocks, so 68 beds and a big greenhouse that's gonna be minimally heated in the winter to grow year round. And the whole goal of the garden is to feed the restaurant, uh, a real farm to table where everything that is sourced from the garden goes directly to the kitchen and where people can come and eat in season year round in our Norton climate. And so that's really what got me excited. The space is amazing. It's really beautiful. There's a really nice river close to it and there's rooms where people can stay and there's a really nice kitchen that we just renovated a uh, big project big project for me but really exciting because for all these years selling to chefs going to restaurants i really am interested in the culinary arts and i really appreciate fine dining but also the whole concept of hosting and inviting people and so for me having the garden as a public space and being the grower for the restaurant it's like a full circle and it, it gets me really really excited even though there's a lot of challenges to doing all of this so the old mill is located in the historic village of Stanbridge East this is a village that was settled by a lot of the loyalist people that left the United States during the war to come and settle here in what was Canada back then, still, still Canada today. But it's just an amazing, beautiful space. There's a river that goes through it with the mill uh, that used to be you know, in service for all the farmers that were growing the grain around the area. And so it's an historical site. The building is from 1840. So it's an old building and for me it's really exciting because a lot of the things that I want to do in this project is to kind of research and better understand how you know people used to live back then and I think there's a lot of insights that we can gain from revisiting the past. A lot of my market gardening tips and tricks, a lot of the my knowledge of market gardening was found reading books, French market gardening books of the 1800s, of the 1900s. So for me, the historical context uh, of a place and of a craft is important. And I think this site's really, you know, does that for me. It's really amazing. So you see the gardens are just there, the greenhouse, the year round greenhouse is just there. And we'll go into the kitchen. It's about 30 steps from the garden to the kitchen, which is the whole concept of this is where to combine both worlds and have really the culinary arts being done there and having all of the craftsmanship done in the market garden and then combining the two. So that's really exciting. I'll show you the kitchen. Come on in. I'm really lucky and happy to be partnering with an amazing chef, Eric. You'll get to meet him, especially if you come and eat here. But the kitchen is amazing and it's again, it's like 30 steps from the market garden. And uh, big shout out to Garland, which has helped me a ton with a lot of these equipment. Uh, they've helped by sponsoring some of them. So that's really cool. So the kitchen is here. And then you get into actually the dining area, the old mill. We just put a lot of work and effort into this, making it nice. 
there's a bar, and then there's a, the place where people will eat. And there's a lounge. And again, big shout out to Roche Beaubois, help us sponsor the space. Really cool company, Roche Beaubois from France. A lot of nice material. And there's also the office space of the Market Gardener Institute, which are the fine people that are helping with the masterclass, doing all of the, a lot of the legwork that goes into doing an online course like the masterclass. There's a lot of people behind it. So everyone is staffed here now. That's really exciting for me. And again, this is like for me, it's, you know, uh, the pandemic was a big reset in many ways. It was a big reset for me. What I want to do, where I want to be, what's next with me and having a space like this to be able to, to be wholesome, to be not too far from my house and to be able to invite, invite growers from all around the world, invite chefs. Uh, I think I'm a bit done to travel and, and share my expertise everywhere. I'd like for people to perhaps come down and see what I'm doing. So this is going to be a great space for that, but it's also a great space for just me to be happy to farm, which is the most important thing. So you see, this is a picture of how it was in the 1800s. So it's a really, it's a historical building. It's really interesting. It's full of life and we've kept it as genuine as possible, which is a big part of the work that we've been doing here. We go outside. We're connecting with the washing pack station that's connected to the greenhouse. We're going to do the barn raising tomorrow. So that's really exciting. There's a crew of really good craftsmen that have been helping uh, making this building. It's going to be really beautiful. This is my buddy, Marius. He's the builder as well. Yeah. So that's it for this week's episode. There's going to be a lot more to share and show as the weeks go by. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of inspiring things to share. This project is really cool. And if anything, I'll see you next time on Digging Deeper. Hope you guys are well. Hope everything is growing. I am JM out.